Disney Style fans, we are live from Dapper Day at the Disneyland Resort. We're so excited to be here. It is one of the most fashionable days at the parks. And we're here with all of our friends who are going to tell us a little bit about what Dapper Day is all about and what's going on here today. So with that, I will introduce our good friend Leslie Kay of the Disney Bound. Hi, Leslie. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, so Leslie, tell us a little bit about what's happening here today for those at home who have no idea what Dapper Day is. So Dapper Day is a vintage fashion event that was created by some very fashionable people and it's given a place for Disney bounders to come and express their love for fashion, their love for Disney, and then their love for vintage fashion. And we all come hang out and we have a great day here at the Disneyland Resort. Awesome. And is there anything that you're most excited to see today? Are there any Disney bounds that you're so excited to see or certain people? Well, just standing here, I can always see so many Disney bounders, and I'm excited to see more and all the creativity and whatever it is that they put into their outfits that make it the Disney bound that it is. I love it. So with that, let's hear about your outfit. Obviously, everybody wants to know what, who you're Disney bounding as, and tell us a little bit about your outfit. So I didn't think this through when I decided who I was going to be, that I'd have to stand here and explain it. Um, so I, <laughs> I am Jolly the Goat from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, <laughs> Um, my fr I have a couple friends that are Disney bounding as the hunchback characters. So essentially, he just he's mostly white with some great accents, and then his black hooves, um, <laughs> and then he's got one gold earring. So I am wearing one gold earring, and then I've got like another one, so it doesn't look like a complete disaster. Um, but I did not think that I'd have to explain this. But <laughs> I am a goat. <laughs> Proof that you can be any character put into fashion and because it's totally a form of expression. Um, well, I love that you brought some friends with you as well, right? I did. So let's hear what they're all wearing. So first we have Erica. Erica runs the Disney Bounders Unite uh, Facebook group, right? Yeah. So tell us a little bit about who you're Disney Bounding and all the details in your outfit. So I'm Disney Bounding as Clopin from Hunchback of Notre Dame with Leslie as the goat. So we pick kind of obscure characters, but it's fun sometimes with a challenge. Um, Clopin is really colorful, and I feel like I'm a colorful person. Dapper Day is all about self-expression. So I'm expressing myself today. I've got, um, he wears like striped tights. I decided to do more of a loose pant with a little slit, and it's got the striped texture to represent the stripes that he wears. Um, he's got like a kind of a yellow thing going on, so I added a pashmina to the top. Um, my friend let me borrow this really cool um, little bag that he ha like he has like you know like little accents like that that are like purples and the gold hoops and of course the hat was a really big important thing too so and I love that you even put the detail into your eyeshadow which goes from like a gold to a purple I love that so everybody here is doing is paying attention to all those little accents that are so fashionable including your beauty thank you, thank you. thanks Okay, so next we have Sarah and Leo who are looking absolutely marvelous. I'd rock love to know, yes, yeah, seriously, rock stars. Um, I'd love to know a little bit about your outfits and um, sort of the inspiration behind it because it looks like we got a certain kind of vibe going on here. <laughs> so we decided this year to Disney bound Muppet characters. I'm Kermit and he's Miss Piggy. We like doing couples. And since the Muppets kind of gained popularity in the 60s and 70s, we went for the 70s vibe with it. I'm going for Cher as Kermit, kind of. <laughs> That's why I have the long hair. And the dress is pretty self-explanatory. Green, because Kermit's always just green. And then he does have the collar with the spikes, so I added a little bit of accent with that. And, oh, yes, of course. The I can't forget part, my yeah. Rainbow Connection bag. <laughs> and, yeah, Leo, what do you got? Yeah, well, uh, it's really hard to embody one of the greatest fashionistas of the 20th century in one outfit because she has so many. So I just tried to find things that were unique to her. So she always, she typically wears a boa. And since I wasn't going to wear a boa today, it's a little bit warm. I went with the applique to embody that. Uh, pink, obviously, because she's a pig. And she always wears purple gloves. And since gloves made me look a little bit too Willy Wonka, uh, <laughs> I decided to go with a purple bow tie. And, of course, big uh, fashionista sunglasses to hide from the paparazzi. And Boom. And yeah. fashion. Don't even forget about that. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and who are you guys most excited to see today, either as a Disney bound or other couples or group Disney bounds, maybe? Uh, groups are always fun. It's just great to see the way that different people Disney bound different characters. Yeah. It's always great because Leslie's in town on Dapper Day, and it's a great time for like yep. all of the people we've met through the Disney bound community to get together and celebrate with our different outfits. Yeah, and when else are you going to dress as a goat, a frog, and a pig at Disneyland? And hang out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are a farm a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> yeah, it's always great because we know all our friends will be in town. Home on the range. <laughs> 
Thank you guys so much. Yeah. We'll see you in a little bit. Um, okay, so next we have Lonnie. Lonnie, you look absolutely lovely. We always love your, we can see your hair from a mile away. Lovely. Um, so tell us a little bit about your outfit and what you're wearing for Dapper Day. All right, so Cinderella is my absolute favorite princess. And I, of course, love her blue dress, but I think her pink dress like doesn't get as much love as her you know, blue dress. And I loved it as a kid, and I think that's kind of what started my like love affair with vintage fashion because it's a very 50s-style dress. So I had my friend make me um, her pink dress skirt, so she sewed it for me. And uh, instead of wearing the outright dress, which I really wanted to do, I uh, just decided to add just like a white shirt, her necklace, of course, that the stepsisters break. It's whole and safe now. <laughs> and then I just added her little um, blue bow as like the top. So it's a very 50s look, but not quite as like you know what she exactly was wearing. But I love Cinderella, so I love it. <laughs> and it's pink, so it matches, you know, my hair. <laughs> I love that so much. Um, so thank you so much for showing us all of it. Honestly, that's a perfect example of showing your, expressing yourself in fashion through your favorite character, which we love to do at Disney Style, which you love to do on um, Disney Bound. So thanks, Lonnie. Thank you. All right, next we have David from David for Hi. Disney. Hi. Hi. So are you Disney bounding today or are you, what are you wearing for Dapper Day? Um, so I'm lucky enough that I'm an Orlando White, so I get to go this year to for fall to all three Dapper events at the Disneyland Resort and I get to go to Walt Disney World. So I have a lot of outfits to plan, so I thought I would go kind of simple and I wouldn't do any Disney bounds this time. Um, but I just thought going with a lot of little details that I would be able to wear in all my outfits. So I have my Look spectator shoe. shoes, oh my God, I love which are my that. favorite. They're very heavy, but... <laughs> Um, and then I always have, I love wearing a straw hat because it was, it's so timeless. It turned the century is when they really got popular, but they were popular all through the fifties. Um, and then I just kind of, all of my looks are just kind of a uh, monochromatic pink and blue look. So I like to do a little bit of color and then random details you won't see like an arm garter. <laughs> oh yes. Little purple yeah. lining. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Well, that, that blue obviously looks amazing on you. Love it so much. Yeah. <laughs> and we're seeing a lot of, of great uh, dapper dudes around here. There's a lot of, we're seeing a lot of three-piece suits, um, suspenders with trousers, uh, bow ties, um, yeah. and a lot of those straw hats. So, the shoes, especially. Yeah, and the shoes. All right, Allison, hello. You look so Hi, lovely. Sure. Uh, my outfit was inspired by Rags or Peasant Snow White. She's my favorite princess, and I kind of do a lot of outfits inspired by her. So I figured um, I was a friend of mine found this vintage dress for me, and then when I found the Snow White book, I decided I just kind of had to make it my Dapper Day look this year. I love it. Thank you so much. And is that book holding everything? Is that you've turned it into a purse? Yeah, it's just everything I need. It, I mean, tr like packing pretty light today for Dapper Day, so it might not work on the normal Disney day, but for, for today it does the job. <laughs> I love it, and I love all the details. That necklace, so amazing, and we have the shoes. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, darling. All right, Chelsea, I'm obsessed with this. Please tell us a little bit about your whole look. Um, well, I'm Evil Dr. Porkchop from Toy Story, um, Ham's alter ego, and I thought that he was a little bit more dapper because he wears a cap, so I wore the fascinator, and he's just basically nude and black, and, um, you know, he's all about the money, so I have my little bling here, and I love villains, and I love Toy Story, and he's a cute villain, so he's very cutesy for Dapper Day, so that's why I did that. We have two pigs here today. <laughs> We've got Leo too. So much pig fashion today. Who knew pigs could be so fashionable? <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea. Okay, so we have some more exciting and fun things to do. So, Leslie, we actually brought a game for you to play. Oh, awesome. Are you ready to play? Yeah. Okay, this game is called Dressed Dapper or Just Dressed. So, is this character, did they just get dressed or did they actually dress up dapper? Would they fit into Dapper Day here? What do you think? Okay? Cool. All right, take, here you go. Okay. All right. First, we have oops, I Miss show Bianca. You. We have Miss Bianca, dapper or just got dressed? She would be dapper. She has the pearls and the floppy hat, and then her and her shawl, and she just always looks fabulous. Yeah, for sure, she'd be the dapper one. Love it. All right. Next, 
We have Vanellope Von Schweetz. Oh, she would be just dressed, although she's one of my favorites. I do love to wear a hoodie, um, but for today, for Dapper Day, she would be just, just dressed. dressed. She does, she wears a lot of layers. I love that sweatpant, or the sweatshirt she wears. Very cute. All right. Perfect. Should we? Let's, yeah, sure. Should we ask some, some others? Yeah. All right. Erica. Jiminy Cricket. Okay. Jiminy Cricket is definitely dapper. He's got the little vest going on, and he's got a little top hat, and he even has his umbrella. It's kind of like a little dapper cane. Like, he's definitely got a great look going on, lots of layers, perfect for Dapper Day. Yeah, he's definitely a dapper character. He's just, he's always so poised, too, and he looks so, he just looks so put together, which is so dapper. Mm -hmm. All right, Sarah and Leo, you want to try some? Yeah. All right. Here you go. Okay, perfect. All right. Dopey. I would say Dopey's just dressed, although I love his beanie, and I mm. kind of want it for the fall. Yeah, I would say as far as dwarfs go, that might be dapper, but it's a little large. <laughs> but maybe uh, not for <laughs> Disneyland's dapper day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe not. Uh, for sure, he's just dressed, although, again, I love beanies, and I love to rock a casual look, but... Again, not dapper. His clothes also sort of don't fit him. No. Well, which is not very dapper. The oversized look. Yeah, yeah he totally. needs a good tailor, maybe. <laughs> totally. All right. You guys want to do one more? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. The white rabbit. Definition of dapper. Look at that guy. Yeah, he's definitely dapper. Um, he's got, he's got, my got bow tie. the bow tie, first Same of one. all. Oh, yeah. A little vest. Yeah. The umbrella, umbrella is always a nice. Oh, and the, the and the little glasses. Oh, no, not those are like a really great dapper accessory, I mm -hmm. think. Even like a pocket pants. watch is like mm -hmm. high waisted pants, old fashioned dapper. style type of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Or running late, not classy, but he's still a classy totally fellow. fashionably <laughs> late. <laughs> fashionably yeah. late. There you go. Thank Thanks. you guys. <laughs> I do agree that that monocle. We don't see that very often anymore, and the white rabbit pretty much rocks it really well. <laughs> Lonnie, you want to try one? I'm so All right. Excited. I think this is a good one for you. Oh, yeah. Bo Peep. Oh, Bo Peep. Oh, she is so dapper. And if you, I mean, you can't really see her skirt, but I know it goes all the way out, which is, like, so dapper. Her pink, of course, which I really appreciate, obviously, <laughs> looks super good. And she's got her hair done. She's got accessories. Even if it's a big, giant, like, stick thing, she's got it. She's so <laughs> dapper. <laughs> yeah, I love I love her lace detailing on her bustier. She actually kind of has the same color palette as you right now. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, exactly. She's lovely. Thanks, Lonnie. All right, David. We got a good one for you. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Lilo and Stitch. Oh. Well, Lilo and Stitch are definitely dressed. They're dressed to the nines, but not quite dapper. She likes to wear a cute little muumuu in this look. Um, she's very casual, very comfortable. Um, it's very indicative of Hawaiian culture. Um, and he's in a wonderful grass skirt, which is a great look. Um, it's very <laughs> culturally appropriate for the area that they're in. Yes. <laughs> I could listen to you talk all day. <laughs> The girls at Disney Style will totally tell you, Lilo is my, she wears my favorite dress. Oh, yes. It is just a moo moo that I could live in all day, every day. And exactly. And palm leaves are like such a big thing right now. Oh, when, when did that become a thing? Okay. One more for you, David. Hold on. David. Yeah. One more. Okay. Okay. Ready? Oh, this is another good one. Lottie. Oh, Lottie. Oh. Oh, I absolutely love all of the costumes and outfits that are worn in Princess and the Frog. And the fact that Lottie has like 17 and Tiana has like eight different costumes. I love it. Um, oh, it's just definitely dapper. Uh, absolutely lovely. Um, a wonderful 20s look with the drop waist and the cloche hat and the boa. It's wonderful. It's such a great look. <laughs> I love her. F I guess it's a fur shawl, a boa. It's great. Yeah. Love it. And she even has the shoes with the cute little bows on them. I hope we actually see somebody who's dressed. There, oh, for sure. I'm like looking right now, like trying to find one. I'm like, there's got to be one. <laughs> All right. Thank you, David. All right. My darling. All right. We got a good one for you. Ready? Kristoff. Oh, Kristoff. Oh, my gosh. Actually, I don't know. A little, I would say he's probably not dapper, um, only because he doesn't really have the accessories. And I feel like a really dapper ensemble would, like, you know, have a, a bag or a hat. And he's, although he has some gloves and some really nice pieces, it's not quite like the extra mile. I feel like it's like the working man ensemble. But I would say that maybe Hans would be dapper, mm -hmm. but Kristoff maybe just doesn't fit the bill. However, I love his style, that fur. 
He's got a fur tunic on that's belted at the waist, something that we would totally wear. I don't, or maybe men would too. <laughs> cool. All right, one more for you. Oh. Oh, no, no, oh, wait, okay. Oh, we'll get Chelsea. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, Chelsea, ready? Jane Porter. Oh, she's incredibly dapper. She's got a hat, a long dress with a petticoat underneath, and an umbrella and gloves. I mean, it's like the essentials for being dapper. The essential dapper. Yeah. Although she loses her dapper a little bit later because of Tarzan sort of strips her of that. But, but we all do, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. You can only wait for so long, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you. Okay, Leslie, I got a few more for you. Okay, perfect. Okay. I'm just going to hold this out for you. Smee. Smee. So while I love a crop top and a beanie, it's not very dapper. Um, <laughs> this looks like more like something you'd wear to the beach with the sandals. And <laughs> if you're working on a pirate ship, I guess that's what you would wear. But. And he's totally got – those are actually sandals that we would probably wear now. They're, they're like the – they're like Birkenstocks, Birkenstocks, but probably a little trendier. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next, we have Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins is easily the epitome of Dapper. She's got the frilly white lace dress and the corset, red cinched in at the middle, and her hat. And they're just, they're, are they 1950s? Sure. 19, they are just vintage anyway, so it's <laughs> easy to be Dapper. And she even has the parasol, which we'll, I've seen many of around here so far, so totally dapper. Yeah. All right, last one. Okay. This is, a, this is a, oh, you already saw it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, last one. Goofy and Max, dapper or not? Well, they're 90s, so they're not very dapper. And they're two dudes that are obviously going fishing, so that's not very dapper, but still one of my favorite movies, my favorite Disney movies. So love them and love their style. I love all the fashion from a Goofy movie. Oh, yeah. Skater and chic. Music yeah. and everything about a Goofy movie. Oh, yeah. All right, I think that's all for now. Wow. Um, thank you so much, Leslie. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for showing off your Dapper fashion. We're going to be going around the park searching for street style fashion from Dapper Day. So, st so uh, look around on DisneyStyle.com and you will see our street style fashion all put together. You can also look on um, Disney Style Instagram as well as Disney Snapchat. Thanks so much, everyone. Thanks for tuning Bye. in. Bye.